there guys, welcome to a first look tutorial and gameplay for I'm not on the main menu. There we go. Why did that sound just disappear? There that'll do. Get a little bit a little bit of uh, that. Cool. Okay, so hey there sheepdoggers, because I fucked it up on the intro. Uh, and welcome to a first look tutorial and gameplay for Starship Corporation. Uh, this is being released in a day or two. Uh, the dev sent me a key, and we're gonna go check it out. And apparently, um, I am barely, barely going to understand it. Uh, th this is uh, from, if you know Peachy Pixel 8, uh, one of my friends who saw the game, who played the game. Uh, he told me I was barely going to understand it, and I, I probably wouldn't get through the tutorial. So, tutorials it is! Gameplay overview. Let's have a look. At this game, which is going to be too difficult for the my galaxy tongue. map, lets you choose which office you want to select okay. and where to establish new ones. Each office grants you access to the market of a different star system, providing new job opportunities. Okay. Uh, galaxy map lets you choose from all the known systems and establish shipyards where there is an established trade route. This looks interesting. Uh, each shipyard grants you access to the market of a different star system. Providing new job opportunities, but also connect costing tax. The market shows all available contract jobs for a star system. You can browse through the list and decide which jobs you want to research or design for next. Okay. The technology interface helps you make important decisions about which branch you want to invest in next, so that you have all the facilities you need to fulfill the contracts you want. Okay. In the ship design interface, you can design the blueprint for a ship. The interface helps you keep track of the objectives the customer requires. The completed blueprint can be saved, loaded, and changed any time later on. Okay. If the blueprint is fully functional, you can create a ship class to use it for crew management. Ship class layouts cannot be changed anymore. They're used for simulation only. Okay. The ship class can run through a series of simulated missions in crew management. Every mission produces a rating that is saved with the ship class file. Oh, SOP rating represents the standard procedure of the ship class. ERS rating tests emergency situations. And the HEP rating is for combat missions. Okay. These ratings are key to proving that your ship is fully capable of handling the dangers of space travel and good enough for the customer's requirements. You can revisit crew management at any time to try to improve the rating. Um, all right, cool. Back in the market with a successfully tested ship class in your database, you can now take part in the bidding process. If you have a ship class fulfilling all the contract requirements, you can place a bid with it, undercutting any competitors with either a better performing ship or a better price. Better performing, better price, okay. That's, that's interesting, I kind of like that. Um, it, it seems like this is an interesting idea that I don't believe I've seen really done. I can't remember seeing a game. There probably is a game like this, most likely. I don't think I've ever seen a game like this, though. Um, <clears throat> okay, I had to double check that my microphone was, was transmitting, because I wasn't sure. Uh, okay. Cool. Next. The market shows all available contract jobs for a star system. You can browse through. Wait, we've done that. Okay. So that's the gameplay overview. So you you choose somewhere, you start building ships. Uh, yeah. Okay. Sandbox. No. Galaxy map. Wait. What? Tutorials. Sandbox. Okay. Starting a new game will cause you to lose any unsaved progress. Continue. Yes. Okay. Welcome to Sandbox Creation. Thank you. Here you can choose a few settings that will determine the universe your game will be in. Right. If the tutorial window is in the way, you can minimize or maximize at any time by clicking on Tutorial at the right edge of the window. You can access the help file by pressing F1 at any time. Please click on Next to continue. Can't click on mail. Company name, Sheepdog Corp, CEO, Sheepydoodle. Uh, introduction, how do you feel about your comp uh, the company's current financial status? 
Uh, corporation has grown a lot by the very wise decisions of past management during the war. Substantial reserves to rely on for our con coming investments. Company has been performing. Do you mind? I'm trying to. Okay. Quite well. I guess we'll go quite well. Substantial damage. Yeah, let's go quite well. Uh, what's your prediction of where the market is developing? Solar system has recovered well. Let's just go. Markets are bouncing back post war depression. Everyone believes it will recover soon. Yeah. Uh, how much do you trust your crew management department? People that are responsible for testing ship design doing an ex excellent job. So, auto resolve missions easy, normal, hard. Let's go with normal. Winning conditions. Uh, where do you see your business going? What are your goals? So, we've got accumulation of money. Technology fully unlocked, or contract Transorine Racer completed. Let's go with technology fully unlocked, I guess. Sure. Welcome to the Galaxy Map Tutorial. Please use the next button to start. Cool. Next. Ooh. Are we able to move any of these? No. Okay. Uh, quarterly report. Uh, the, game's, uh, the game starts by entering the first quarter of the year 3020. The quarterly report shows you the financial progress of the recent quarter. Please close the report now. Okay. Uh, so we lost a whole load of money. And okay. Next. You can zoom in or out of the galaxy using the mouse wheel. Okay. Uh, you can move by using the arrows or going to the edge of the screen. Uh, you can... Okay, so clicking those you can move. Okay. You can see all the node systems in the galaxy. You can select them by clicking uh, with the left mouse button to get more information. The yellow color signifies on Mars, signifies that your corporation already owns a shipyard at this location. Please select Mars now. Okay. wonder why it's Mars and not Earth. Interesting. Uh, yep. Yeah. Uh, in the lower left corner, you can see the icon. Okay. The icon for your shipyard. It also displays current tax rate of this system. As this can change over time and vary a lot between available systems, you always have the option to disband your shipyard by clicking on the icon and confirming the order. Okay. Trustworthy salvage vessel that served during the independence war. You can move up to... You can move up to any standard ship and reactivate it. Okay. Why don't I scrap the ship? Oh wait, do I have to click on the... There we go. Okay, so that's a shipyard. Build your own ship, uh, pilot vessel, route worker, deal with local pirate act activity, food, improve pilot, salvage, clear the route to Acton. Okay, so are those missions, I guess? New contracts, sure. Uh, if a system offers new contracts, an icon is displayed next to its name. Right. Uh, open contracts are shown in blue, assigned contracts are shown in yellow. Usually contracts are only available for a few quarters until they disappear. Please select the contract named Pilot Vessel. This reveals more information about the customer's requirements, as well as the list of all your available ship classes. If ships are displayed in red, uh, they're not fulfilling the requirements. If they're shown in green, it's a match. Please select Pilot Vessel and then Build Ship, confirming, confirming your order. That, and then Build Ship. Please confirm the construction of class name, Pilot Vessel, construction, okay. Next. The shipyard now displays that the ship is being built. This icon signifies that it will take one quarter until completion. Some of the bigger ships can take up to four quarters. Please click, click on end quarter at the top to end the current term. Done. The Holy Trinity, Delos Settlements, Saving. Okay. Oh! Loud. Loud. Uh, contract. Pilot vessel. Customer. Algernon technology. Fuselage. Little bug. Description. Okay. Uh, design rating. Zero. S those are the... So it's not a fighter, that's for sure. Delivery. As soon as ship can is completed, you'll get notified. Clicking on delivery will enable the customer to take over the ship and you receive the payment. Just like before, the quarterly report displays your income... And expenses. This turn you made some significant profit. Uh, 17,000. Alright. Uh, please close the report as soon as you're ready. Closed. Next. Uh, this quarter we will build our own ship. Select the solar system again. 
Then build your own ship. And probe. Okay. Uh, click on the build ship in the bottom right, in the lower right corner to start the process. Okay. Then end the quarter. This time you can enter the ship's name and description before you launch it into space. New vessel is displayed in the ship list in the upper left corner. Okay, there are ships. Uh, as well as an icon in the vicinity of the solar system. If you lose this ship to an accident, please repeat. Okay. End quarter. Put your brow. Deadless. No description. Really, the Mary Celeste. Uh, with this, sh no, okay. With this ship selected from the list or the map. Okay, so there's the Deadless. Uh, you'll be able to see more information about it, as well as use the option to scrap it to get back some of its original value. Value. The send the ship simply to send the ship. Simply right-click anywhere in the map to set a waypoint. Yeah. Okay. Please select... Please, please set a research option on the Delos settlements. Okay, so that's a research option. Research option. Okay. So that the ship can use its sensors to detect any dangers along the route. If uh, if the ship is performing an action like research, roadwork, mining, or combat during flight, it travels at sixty percent of its maximum speed. End the current quarter to start the exploration. If the ship encounters an asteroid field, please click on continue. Right, it's going to encounter an asteroid field, I guess. Cool. So I haven't got to the ship building yet, but I know it's here. That, that looks like an asteroid field. Quarterly report, okay. Your ship will encounter multiple asteroid fields on the way to Delos. Uh, they are marked as orange circles, and they are visible when a ship is selected. There's one right there. Uh, we'll end the quarter again. Uh, selected. Mining areas are displayed in yellow and war zones in red. Entering an asteroid field requires decent rating for the asteroid field mission so that your ship uh, survives unharmed. Also, the ER ERS rating in the general in general decreases the chance for an accident taking out the entire ship. If you end another quarter, you should run into an asteroid field. Yeah, I, I don't know whether I need to stop. I, I'll click the proceed. Uh, if the system display if a system display a contract icon, this means there are jobs available. You cannot establish shipyard at Delos because there are is no trade route. There is no trade route established uh, yet, but you can build a shipyard on Acton. Okay, because we've got a trade route there, it looks like. Alright. The complexity of the routes surrounding the systems uh, represents, represents their development level. Uh, the types of jobs you can get on settlements depend on its location, culture, but also its development level. Current de development level. Okay. Uh, if your ship is equipped with mining lasers, it can clear asteroid fields. If your ship has mining lasers and an ore mill on board, it can send it out to make a lot of money mining resources. If your ship is armed, you can send it into war zones to get rid of hostile forces and make this part of the galaxy safer for everyone. You have an old mining vessel at your disposal, the Murray Celeste. Set a research waypoint close to its current location, and you'll uncover mining zone yellow, in the, so it's kind of over there. Research. You'll discover mining zone yellow in the next turn. Set a mining waypoint in the middle of it to start mining. Okay. The game can be saved by pressing escape. Okay. Missing technology. Please, uh, I guess we don't need to... Well, let, let's do it anyway, right? Seems, seems like a good idea. Okay, so they're gonna move. 
Aha! Well, that is very much indeed mining right. Right. Yep. So, Mary Celeste. Which one's mining? This one? I'm gonna assume that's mining. Okay. Please select the contract Improved Pilot Vessel from the Solar System Market. Improved Pilot Vessel? Yeah. Uh, in the description you can see that the ship needs to be equipped with a sick bay and a small armory. Both of those are under research. Please change the research, please change the research interface by selecting the department, then research. Okay. Please select the contract improved pilot vessel from the solar system market. In the description you can see that this ship needs to be equipped with a... Okay, yeah, done. Welcome to the technology tutorial. Whoops. The design tutorial ship contract requires a small armory and a sick bay. We're going to research these two missing technologies now. Please use the next button to start. Okie dokie. The interface shows you all the all available facilities and fuselages that you can research over the course of your career. Items shown in blue are not researched yet, items in green are, items shown partly in yellow currently being developed. If you click with your left mouse on different items, you'll get more information about them. Okay. The tabs at the, the top let you quickly jump to categories that interest you. Please click the health. Done. Uh, in the subcategory emergency, there, please select the sick bay. Sick bay. Okay. Sick bay. Uh, at the sick bay, wounded crew members are f can be fully healed. E every additional medic present in the sick bay. Okay. Uh, so we uh, click on buy technology and uh, confirm the order to unlock. Confirm. Armory, please jump to the birthing. One thing uh, would, that would be good is pop up tab, uh, like pop up um, info panel, like little info panel, so you can like mouse over this and it will say, or even even like you know somewhere down here or wherever. So you just know what's what, because it's just nice, I guess. Uh, so birthing category, selecting the tab at the top, and scroll down until the equipment category is visible. Artificial humans? Okay. Uh, so we want the small armory, correct? Small armory by technology. Okay. Confirm. There we go. The ship performs much better in crew management if at least parts of its hull are armoured. Please jump to the defense category. Okay. Set a quarterly budget of uh, 2000 MBTC for the armor category. The color of the value represents its efficiency. Higher values than 2000 do not speed up research significantly in the armor category. Okay. Done. Please click, end, please click end quarter to let the researchers do their work. Then return to defense category on the research interface. Okay. So hopefully I'll get to the point of making a ship. Uh, and again, with, with, again, with all of these things, guys, let me know if you want to see something like a seven day series. You know, if you have interest in seeing more of this game, to see whether it's something you'd be interested in or, or whatever, this this is this is like a this is a first look tutorial gameplay. Basically, shows you the bare bones of the game to uh, show off a game where you're like, oh, oh, that looks interesting. Uh, please, quit. okay, so we did that, and then progress. You can see that the research for okay, well, we need to go back to research. Sorry about that. You can see that the research for the basic armor single. That's not armor. GP, come on now. Okay, basic armor single is about halfway done. Research for larger armor is showing some progress as well. By investing in a category over time, you can further knowledge about many different applications. Please end this quarter again to finish research. Okay. So yeah, I'll, I'll show you guys as much as I can. But I designate an hour to first look tutorial in gameplays. Um, there we go. Basic armor single, new technology. Okay, confirm. As, so as soon as the research of a specific te technology has been completed, you'll get a message. You'll find that it's available in the build now menu now. Please switch to ship design to continue the tutorial. Ger Gerald Warzawek. 
Volzovic? I don't know. Uh, subject, campaign contribution, location Mars, campaign manager for the Freedom Party. Dear Mr. Sheepy Doodle, did you feel silly typing that? Uh, we are we are kindly asking you to support our candidate for the upcoming election. If he wins, I'm sure he will not forget your important role company plays in the Solar Alliance economy. Regards, Gerald Wozowiec. I'll do it, uh, donate a thousand. Okay, so... We done? There we go, quarterly report. Still losing for operation and taxes and research and other stuff. So you can't just sit there and earn money, it looks like. You have to be active. That's cool. Uh, we wanted to go to the ship design? Yeah, ship design. Okay. Welcome uh, to the ship design tutorial. Okay. Please use the next button to start. In this screen, you can determine which contract you're working on and which fuselage to use. You can either click on Load to start with a pre-existing design, or start a completely new blueprint, which we're going to do now. Okay. You can choose the goals for this ship design by switching between Contract, Custom, Custom. and None. No. Please select Contracts now. Selected. Select Design Tutorial Contract from the list of contracts. Below the contract list, you'll see the most important requirements of the selected contract. Uh, budget, range, storage, surplus, mission time one month, required room, sick bay, EEV, and small armory, crew limit 50 max, ratings, okay. On the right half of the screen, you can select from a list of fuselages. Currently, only Little Bug has been researched, so please select it. You can see a short description and basic information about the fuselage just below. Most common orbital shuttle you can find. It has been tested under the worst imaginable circumstances and always proved to be reliable. It provides a construction space of 1037 M2s. Square meters. Please click on Start Design in the lower right corner to enter ship design. Doing it. Doing it. In the upper left area, you'll find the Mission Progress panel. Here you can monitor how good your ship is rated. You can minimize this window by clicking on one of the arrows on the right side. In the upper right corner, you can see the Objectives panel. Here you can see the construction goals and information about your current ship design. You can minimize this window with the arrow on the bottom right. I see, yeah. Okay. In the upper right corner of the Objectives panel, you can click on Change Contract to select a different contract. This way you can browse through all available contracts to see if their objectives are a fit for the current ship. Okay. At the top, you'll find the Message Bar. Click on the arrow at the bottom right to minimize or maximize the window. You can use this list to help you keep track of what you still need to build a fully functioning ship. Okay. At the bottom left is your ship's deck layout. You can switch between decks by clicking Sweet. on the appropriate deck in the ship graphic. You can also change... At the yeah. bottom of the screen, you'll see the build menu. Please click on the small bridge from the core modules panel. You can rotate the selected room by clicking the right mouse button. You can place it anywhere by clicking the left mouse button. Okay. When a room is selected, you can return to the build menu by pressing the space key or by clicking on the build menu icon. Okay. Click and hold the left mouse button over the built room until it attaches to your mouse cursor, then left click again to build it in a different spot. Okay. Delete the bridge by clicking on it with the right mouse button or hitting the delete key when the room is selected. Okay. You can undo any deletion or creation by pressing Z. Cool. Please place the bridge at the marked location on deck B2 to be able to continue the tutorial. You're only able to build one bridge, move or delete the one previously built. Change the deck by using the page up or the number two key. Or just click down here, but yeah, yeah, yeah. When a room is selected, you'll see all of its requirements in the bottom right corner. Okay, uh, hard of the ship and responsible for effective steering for fuselages below 3,000 m meters squared. If taken over by hostile units or destroyed, the ship is lost. Can only be built once per ship. It's got power grid, it's, it needs, uh, it needs two pilots and it needs the amount of, okay, yeah. You'll notice that the crew count in the objectives panel has been updated. This tells you that you now need two pilots to operate the bridge. Okay. Please build a standard computer now. 
you'll find it under core modules. It's preferable to build it close to the bridge because you'll need a pilot to maintain it. In this ship, place it at the March location on deck B2. God damn it, it disappeared. There we go. I must have clicked the go back in panel. Okay. Please select the computer. It doesn't require someone staying in it full time for the ship to operate. No. This means that you can send one of the bridge crew to maintain the computer core as well. Okay. And also needs power and what's this? Amount of cooling in TW. A room supplies or needs and the amount of cooling available on this deck. Okay. Please select the Octagall engine from the main engine tab. You can only build an engine room next to yellow areas. Please build it at the highlighted location on deck B1. Change the deck by using the page down or number one key. Done. How do I help oh, space thing? Okay. Please switch to berthing and select pilot quarters small. Bursting. Then place two units at the recommended locations on deck B2. Bursting. You'll notice that the crew count as well as the air and water supply are being updated. So that gives us two of two. Stop it. Uh, you'll notice that the uh, you'll notice that the crew count as well as the air and water supply are being updated. Okay, so uh, it was air, air supply is zero, water supply is zero. Okay, yep. The engine room needs to be supplied by fuel tanks. Please select the small fuel tank from the storage panel and build two tanks at the storage. recommended locations on deck B1. In the objectives panel, you'll see the updated fuel supply for the ship. Uh, so fuel supply is 100 of 100, okay. Please switch to berthing and select tech quarters small and place two of them in the recommended locations. Tech Some crew small. management missions require quick access of technicians to the engine room, therefore it's a benefit to place their quarters close to it. Okay. Yeah, okay. Please place another set of two tech quarters small at the other side of the ship. You'll Done. now have four technicians available when performing a mission. Okay. Build a small air tank by selecting storage and air and place it in the marked location on deck B2. Deck B2. Okay. Done. As you can see from the objectives and message panel, the air tank is not enough to supply the current crew count for the wait. required mission duration. It, wait, no Please it is. Please place another tank at the indicated location. But it's 333%. Now it's 667%. The decks of the ship need to be connected. Select the stairway from the infrastructure and connections tab and place it at the highlighted area on deck B1. You can choose if you want to build down from deck B2 or up from deck B1 by clicking on the arrows at the right side of the stairway icon in the build menu. If a lift or a stairway cannot be built up or down because it would intersect with a room or lead into space, it's shown in red. Okay, so that's so I tried to build it down instead of up, so you can... Okay, I see how that works. So you've got cooling and power and stuff as well. Okay. You also need water tanks to supply the crew for the entire mission duration. Select the small water tank from storage and water and place one now on the marked location on deck B2. Done. Now place another one at the other side of the stairway to fulfill Saucy the bitch. objectives. Okay. Take a moment to maximize the message panel to see what you still need to do. As you can see, the ship is still in need of life support, water treatment, EEBs and hatches, as well as energy and cooling and supply lines. Yeah. Orange messages are optional tasks. Okay. You can find life support under health. Construct one at the indicated location on deck B2. Health, health. Ah, health. Uh, we need life support and we need to put it here. This this is gonna be. I see what he. I see what PG meant. This is gonna be difficult. Um. Okay. Water treatment can be found in the life support category. Oh, yep. Construct the water treatment at the indicated location on deck B two. Okay. Water treatment needs medical personnel to operate properly. The objectives panel has been updated to show the new crew requirements. So we need Please select the berthing category and build one medic quarters small at the indicated location. Okay. All rooms are still without a power supply. 
Please select a small nuclear generator from the power tab and build it at the marked location on deck B2. When a generator is selected, you can see how much power a single generator has left at the bottom right. Okay. I can indeed. If, okay, there's no talking on this one, apparently. Uh, if a, a room or power generator is selected, you can see three numbers in the in the lower right corner. Click on number, you can switch the grid number of a room or generator. Oh, Lord, okay. A generator only supplies power to rooms with the same grid number. Please leave it on grid Please one. select the water treatment. The red lightning icon signifies a room without a power supply. You can see how much power is needed in the room information. Okay. Uh, right, right. I think I think I'm still with it. The so small far. generator is not enough to power all the rooms on this deck. Please place another one at the marked location and connect it to the power grid. I think I did that. Yeah, the temperature's messy, but we've got the. The power. lower deck needs power as well. Please place another small generator right next to the engine room and connect all the rooms on this deck to the power grid. Okay, so the power grid on different levels are different. Got it. Some rooms, like the engine room and the generator rooms, need cooling. This is indicated by a red temperature icon. Please build a small cooling unit from the cooling tab at the highlighted areas on deck B1 to accommodate this. This room type can only be built adjacent to the hull. Okay, I guess it like fires out the hull. The cooling generator is marked with red arrows. This means that these rooms still need to be sealed by an outer hatch. Select the cooling hatch from the infrastructure slash hatches tab and build it next to the cooling generator at the marked location. Then we need a cooling. No, not cooling. Oh, it needs to be facing this way? Okay, cool. Please select the engine room. You can see how much cooling is needed at the right side of the yep. room information panel. Yep. There's not enough cooling on this, though. The engine requi room requires all the cooling uh, the small cooling unit provides. To be able to cool the power generator as well. Okay, so cooling... Cooling there, and then a. See if we can do this without reading what we're supposed to be doing. Hatches, cooling there. Okay. Yep. Place a cooling hatch to seal the newly built cooling unit, then connect the new rooms to the power and cooling grid. I've done that. So all of those are cooled, very good. Uh, life support, computer, and generators on deck B2 still need cooling. Okay, so we need to place a cooling hatch. Uh, that, there we go, cooling. I swear I'm saying cooling wrong. Uh, and then... Hatches, cool, no, that's not cooling. It is a cooling hatch. Sorry. There we go. With the Life hatch. support, computer, and generators on deck B2 still need cooling. Please place a cooling unit. Place a cooling hatch to okay, life support, now the... computer, and generators. Open on deck the health B2 and emergency. Uh, yep. Please place a cooling and emergency unit at the marked location. And seal with a cooling hatch. Sick bay and connect to the power and cooling B1. grid. Oh, we have the sick bay down here. Really? All right. Open the health and emergency category. Press Select F or open the, the file. The recommended location on deck B1 to save the, and connect and it to the power get a name you like. So we'll call it. Uh, su, su, I can't remember what it's called. Like, su dog. Oh, there we go. Save it. Press S or open the file drop down menu to save the current blueprint. Uh, select the small enter armory from like birthing. So birthing. You can also enter a description military? to be no. able to better identify the blueprint Equipment. later. Armory. And put it uh, on mock location deck on B2. Okay. Uh, so. There. So. There. Okay. 
Select the small armory now you need to connect all the rooms equipment. on the ship so the crew the can move around and access them. Too. First select the hatch from infrastructure. Okay, so infrastructure, hatch, uh, and hatches. Build two hatches. Okay, so hatch. On the highlighted locations. Okay, so hatch there, hatch there. Now you need to connect all the rooms on the Corridor. ship so the crew can move around and access them. First, select a hatch from infrastructure and hatches, and okay. build two hatches on the highlighted look. Now, select a corridor. You can one connect segment distances of two grids or more, effective by using hatches. the large hatch. Okay, select it from infrastructure, large hatch. Okay, there we go. Uh, and place it between the stairway and the armory. You need to rotate. You might need to rotate the hatch to fit. Large hatches can only be attached to rooms or corridors in one direction. Okay. You can connect distances of two grid tiles more effectively Please by place using enough the hatches large hatch. to connect Select every it room from the infrastructure ship. and hatches and place it between the stairway and the armory. Okay. You might so need to rotate hatch. the hatch to fit. Large hatches there. can only be attached to rooms there. or corridors there. in one direction. There. 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 Looks good. Oh, uh, the cooling. Yeah. Wait, why can't we? Okay, I guess we can connect the cooling to um, the medic like that. Okay. Maybe like this too. That probably is useful. Probably. Okay. Aha! There's no power down here. Please place enough hatches to connect every room on the ship. You can keep track of which rooms are still Missing not connected by hatch. watching out for the bright red borders. Ship or installation needs at least one exit hatch for the crew to exit. Okay, yes, well, we'll probably get to that time. Assuming. Take a look, uh, quick look at that. You can now see that the ship needs an exit hatch. Yeah, I can. The crew, but the power down here. Why is the power down here so crappy? We need another generator, but I'm, I'm sure it will. Uh, you can now see that the ship needs an exit hatch. The crew has to be able to enter or leave the ship somewhere. It can be placed anywhere along the hull, preferably at the marked location next to the engine room on deck. Okay, so exit hatch. Go. Take a quick look at the messages bar up top. Small power generator does not produce enough to an exit hatch. supply. Okay, the crew so has to be able power. to enter or leave the ship somewhere. It can be placed anywhere along the hull, preferably at the marked location next to the engine Connected room on hatch. deck B1. The small power generator does not produce enough power to supply all rooms and hatches on deck. Uh, in B1. case of an emergency, please place another small I'm nuclear to, generator at the market. I don't have to wait for to, uh, to be done, but I kind of have to wait for cooling. it to be done. Also, it's create a hatch annoying to connect to... the generator with the engine room. Uh, crew, uh, in case of emergency, there needs to be enough EEVs for the entire crew. Select health, then emergency, health, emergency, EEV, and place two here. Emergency escape vehicles. Oh, that's what EEV means. Okay. Uh, and connect them with hatches. EVs run on batteries, do not require power. Okay, so hatches, hatches. What the hell is infrastructure? There it is. Hatches. Do we just go like regular hatches? No. Okay, so there you said you should say exit hatches, I guess. I believe that's what's. Oh wait 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 wait. Delete those. I also delete the EV. God damn it, EV. EV there. And what we need to do is we need to connect them to the ship with hatches, which is what Sheepy is being stupid about. So we'll put one there and put one there. There we go. In case of an emergency where the crew Blueprint is now ready for simulation. Ship, there needs to be enough emergency escape All requirements are fulfilled. Ship crew. is fully functional. Yes, Select that's true. You can create a ship class by clicking EVs on prepare for simulation in the file drop down. I see that there. And connect them with hatches. 
After a new window, check the integrity of the design you can save it. Okay. Welcome to the basic crew management tutorial. If the tutorial window is in the way, you can... I can mute. I didn't see that. Oh, I saved ship class. I should have saved it. I should have... Oh, okay. Prepare blueprint... Do blueprint for simulation. Simulation. Okay. Close. Prepare simulation. Prepare simulation. Test crew management. Okay. There we go. This is kind of cool. I don't think it's something that I'd play on stream or on YouTube because I'd be terrible at this. But I think it's something I'd just sit here and enjoy. Welcome to the... Welcome to the basic crew management tutorial. She's fixed. If the tutorial oh. window is in the way, you can minimize or maximize it yep. any time by... First, you'll learn how to test your ship and crew in the standard operation mission learning basic interface functionality and familiarizing yourself with unit commands. If you started this tutorial out of context and there's no ship name displayed next to your ship class, you'll first need to load sample ship class using the file menu. On the left side of the okay. screen, you can see a list of missions your ship can perform in. Okay. SOP missions test the standard operation of the ship, ERS missions simulate different kinds of emergencies, and HEP missions test encounters with hostile forces. Please select the standard operation mission. Done. On the upper right side of the screen, you can set the number of crew members you want the ship to have. Reducing the crew can give you additional points as it saves money. This tutorial needs all crew members available, so please leave it as is. Okay. The objectives show you what the mission will be about. Most drivers. missions have a time limit that you'll need to keep in mind. Okay. In the lower right, you can see an overview of the points you'll get for each mission. All right. Please start the mission now by clicking on the button in the lower right corner. Oh. Oh, okay. Operate the ship for 10 minutes. Okay, that's a... I must have... What did I click? I must have clicked the wrong one. Okay. Uh, so... Uh, standard of operating, core modules need to be running, operate the ship for 10 minutes, uh, 65 point per minute, casualties, and, and okay, cool. so, play mission. The information panel in the upper left corner shows you how far mission time has progressed, how good your rating is so far, and why. Okay. In the top right corner, you're getting so information about, about the name of your current mission, mission time, damage to the ship, the surplus energy available, and the available air and water supply. Below that, you can see how many rooms are in operation, how many are damaged or destroyed. You can also see how many crew members are healthy, injured, or dead. Okay. At the beginning, the mission is not yet started, but you can still look at all the decks and make plans ahead. Please start the mission now. All right. A core... Wait, what? You can pause the mission at any time by pressing P. It's also possible to speed up or slow down simulation speed by clicking plus or minus in the upper right corner or using the F10 or F11 key. Please select the small bridge on deck B2. The room's information panel at the bottom shows information about the crew type and number needed for operation and when the next maintenance is due. This bridge needs a permanent yes. crew of two pilots. The green icon above the room warns you that this room is currently losing efficiency. Yes. Yes! Okay. Rooms have to be checked regularly or manned permanently to avoid malfunctions. A green icon shows you that pilots are needed, a blue icon needs technicians, white is for medics, and red is for soldiers. Please select the life support. For this room to stay 100% efficient, one technician needs to be present every 2 minutes and 40 seconds. Please select the life support. Can't select anything. Power 
You can select okay. single crew members by left clicking on their flag and adding additional units by holding shift while That's clicking. You can also hold and drag the left mouse button to select multiple units or double click on a unit to select all crew members with the same profession. Please select all units on this stack. No. Retry mission. No. Okay. All systems online. Don't know what happened there. But apparently one of my core modules wasn't working. Okay, so we've got Okay, start mission. What? I did everything exactly as I was told. What's shutting down? It's not explaining this to me. And I can't change the... Oh, okay. No. So, what happened? There's a whole lot of stuff behind there as well. So, what was broken? Energy, life support, seems all fine. Continue. Okay, so... Says, objective show you what the mission will do. To, to, okay. In the lower right, you can see an overview of the points you'll get for each mission. Right. Got a tech dude. Not a problem, sir. Radio check. I'm. What? Please start the mission now by clicking in the top right corner. At the beginning, yep. the mission is not yet. You can pause the mission at any time by pressing. Yep. Please select the small bridge on deck B2. Okay. The room's information panel at the bottom shows information about the crew so type and number that. needed for operation and when the next maintenance is due. This bridge needs a permanent crew of two pilots. The green icon above okay. the room warns you that this room is currently losing efficiency. <clears throat> I got it. Okay. Rooms have to be checked regularly or manned permanently to avoid malfunctions. A green icon shows you that pilots are needed, a blue icon <coughs> means technicians, Technician. white is for medics, and red is for soldiers. Please select the life support. For this room to stay 100% efficient, one technician needs to be present every 2 minutes and 40 That's seconds. Life support. Nuclear generators, cooling, sick bay. So that's the life support. No, that's medic quarters. Where's the life support? Nuclear generator. Life support, okay. So we need a technician in there. Okay, so you. Go to here. You can select single crew members by left clicking on their flag. Okay. For many missions, it's best to equip crew members with suits to be suits able to survive, to be able to survive longer. longer. However, they move much slower when equipped with suits. With all units selected, Click and hold the right mouse button and use the action menu to select to put on suit. Please repeat this process for all other units on the ship. Unpause the game to let them put on their suits. Okay. You give move orders by clicking with the right mouse button. Morale has a big influence on movement speed. Also, units will move fastest in corridors and slowest in rooms that are damaged or without power. Okay. Please, the bridge and the computer room both need to be maintained by pilots. Please create a route for one of the pilots between these two rooms by holding control and clicking the right mouse button. You can add waypoints bridge later. The computer room. Move them by clicking and dragging with the left mouse button, delete or change them by clicking and holding the right mouse button on a waypoint. Keep your eyes peeled. Holding control, right clicking, that's what I did. Not a problem, sir. Objective complete. No problem, sir. Not a problem, sir. Not a... So there you go, you should be. Is it paused? Probably not, I guess. Life support. What's that have in it? It has a technician, okay. 
When creating the waypoint for the bridge, or after it has been created, click and hold the right mouse button on the waypoint to make use of the action menu and place a wait waypoint. You can set a time of about 10 seconds by moving the mouse up or down. The further you move it away, the higher or lower the time. The bridge needs to regain efficiency after the pilot has been away for a while. Please select three of the technicians and create a group by pressing Control and any number key between 1 and 9. Groups can be removed by pressing Control okay. and 0. Got em. Grouped crew members will wait for each other at waypoints. Select a group by pressing Shift and a number key. Mechanical malfunctions occur when the room is low on efficiency. They slowly damage and destroy the room over time if not removed. Send a technician close to the malfunction in one of the fuel tanks to repair it. Waiting for your command. Standing by. Awaiting further orders. Okay, so they're servicing. And only two of them are servicing it, so I didn't need to take all of them, apparently. I have a problem, sir. You can look up any computer message by opening the message log at the top. Got it. You can also switch to the relevant deck by clicking on each message. Error message. Electrical malfunctions occur when the room is low on efficiency. They'll disconnect a power line if not removed quickly. Send a technician close to the malfunction in the sick bay to deal with it. Fires break out when rooms are not cooled properly. No For training, a fire bay. has been started in one of the fuel tanks. You can extinguish it by standing close to it, but the unit will take damage from the heat and smoke. Oh, yep, yep, I see. Suits are helpful to avoid injury. The best units to combat fire are one of your technicians is injured. Okay. If his condition is below 50%, he'll slowly bleed to death. Oh, yeah, he is. You either need to get him into sick bay or use the medic's healing ability to stabilize him at 50%. Move the medic right now. When a room is damaged over 50%, it shuts down. The power button flickers and cannot be activated as long as the room is not repaired. Just send some technicians into the sick bay oh, to repair okay. it and bring it back online. Medic. A green arrow above the technician shows Hello. that he's currently repairing the room. Objective complete. So is he now not dying? He is now still dying. Load it! Load it! Ready. Not a problem. Kill him! Move out. Ready. He's still dying. Currently repairing you can turn room. on or off any room by using its power button at the bottom right. All right. In the standard operation mission, all core modules, bridge, computer, life support, and engine room need to be running permanently. Okay. Hatches can be locked and unlocked by and clicking and holding okay, the good. left mouse button when over a hatch. Holding a bit longer and moving the mouse up or down opens a menu where you can lock or unlock all hatches at once. Hatches by clicking and holding left mouse button when over a hatch. No. Uh... Is that closed now? Right, yes it is. Uh, hold a bit longer, move the mouse, uh, where you can lock and unlock all Using hatches Using technicians or soldiers, hatches can also be welded shut or cut open. Click and hold the right mouse button when over a hatch to use the action menu for it. Please remove all personnel from any water tank before See, continuing to the next step. Go, go, I don't, go, I don't think go, there's anyone's in order. There's air pressure in all rooms that are not sealed off, displayed in yellow. It'll drain your air supply, but it also takes oxygen away from any ongoing fires. Okay. Close all the hatches to the affected room and turn off its power. You can see that this will stop the air loss. To repair the hull breach, send one of your technicians to the breach. Be careful, though, not to send him too close as long as there's air flowing or he'll get sucked out into space. Acknowledged. Okay. Check for all the rooms that need maintenance by technicians, and then create a route with your three-man group to cover all of them before returning to the bridge. For the waypoint at the engine room, use the action wait to let them remain there for at least 10 seconds so that the efficiency can get back up before they leave again for another patrol. No, it says, says they need technicians except for right here right now. Move it, move it. What? 
anybody? He got sucked out. Whoopsie. Where is he? There he is. Crew members away on some errand. The rest of the group will return to patrol. All penalties okay. and mission time have been reset. After, please save the rating for this mission to the ship class file. The on or off status of each room will be saved, as well as the position and equipment. Right. The rating for the last mission has been added to the list. No, I, well it hasn't. Uh, something, something went wrong. Ship class. The so, of crew members that have been used for the standard. Please select red. There we go. Back to the menu, please. Stop, 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 stop. Okay, 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 fine. Uh, galaxy map, sure. Continue. No! I don't want to continue game! I want to, a uh, galaxy map. Please end the mission first, return the crew management to the crew management menu to start a tutorial. What? Okay, how do I, how do I end the mission then? Oh god. Uh, um, uh, here? End mission. Sure, apply. Menu. There we go. Okay. God damn it. Auto resolve? Okay. Uh, 20 points. Sweet. I did it. There we go. That went, that went a lot better. 20 points, 20 points. Nothing wrong. So whatever that module problem was, uh, I don't know. But yeah. To successfully complete this mission, please select okay, so we have to alert do red to start alerts the mission. Next. Select OK to remove all the Record alarm position. Yes, needs to be armed. Okay, okay. I think I think that's good enough, however. Uh so we're gonna end that there. That gives you a decent idea of the game. Very in-depth, quite cool. Um problems though couple of problems and I don't know whether that was me like not following the instructions properly or whatever but that got a little bit frustrating towards the end so cool game like the idea uh, possible issues um, I couldn't figure out exactly what was wrong it's not super friendly in terms of like like option there were there were multiple times when I was doing the tutorial where stuff would happen and it didn't seem to be in the tutorial I didn't know what to do so I had to kind of click that button first so I could do other things instead of like go through to through the tutorial and see you know if later on it said like oh this thing is here by the way do this uh pretty cool game I like it um so yeah there you go that's Starship Corporation guys uh it's out in a couple of days uh hope you enjoyed the video don't forget to like and subscribe it always helps out a lot and of course I do really appreciate it and I'll see you in the next one.